I'm Tony Rivera and I'm the Managing Director of Azure Minerals. Azure is a company based in Australia but we work solely in Mexico and we have a very exciting silver and gold project that we're currently developing. Sure, Azure is a, is a company that's been around 13 years and for the last 10 of those we've been exploring in Mexico. And our focus has always been on, on precious metals, silver and gold, but also uh, base metals, copper, lead and zinc. And, and we've got a number of advanced stage projects. Um, one of them has been we've had for the last two years, it's called Alacran. And within that uh, two year period, we've been very successful in, in uh, discovering two major uh, base, uh, precious metal projects or deposits. One of them is silver and it's called Mesa de Plata. And the second one is a gold project and it's called uh, Loma Bonita. We're currently finished with the exploration on Mesa de Plata and we're in the uh, feasibility study stage of that project and we hope to take that through feasibility towards production next year. Well, as I said, we're in, the, in that feasibility study stage. So we, we expect that uh, that feasibility will be finished within the first quarter of next year. And then we'll be looking to, uh, on a corporate front, to, to take the company to Canada and looked, we're looking to list on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Because we find that um, in Australia, there, there's a lack of uh, real understanding of the benefits of operating in Mexico, and particularly of, the, of silver projects. Um, whereas in North America, they're very comfortable uh, investing in companies that operate in Mexico, and they're very comfortable with silver. So a listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange in the middle of next year is our midterm goal, and it's our, our leading corporate goal for next year. The exploration success is continuing. Um, in, following the discovery of the Mesa de Plata silver deposit, um, we, we then moved our exploration and within a couple of months, on the very next hill, we'd found uh, the, what is now the Loma Bonita gold deposit. And interestingly, this is in an area where there's been a lot of exploration and mining for copper over the last 100, maybe 200 years. And in fact, there's a road that runs right through our property and over the top of one of these, uh, these deposits. And, and yet no one seemed to get out of their car and walk up the top of the hill and crack a rock. And, and yet there's silver, very, very high grade silver sticking out of the ground. And, and on the next hill over at Loma Bonita, some really nice uh, high grade gold sticking out of the ground. So remarkably, these two deposits have been there in plain sight all this time and yet no one's been able to find them. So that's a real credit to our geologists that we've got on the ground who are all Mexicans and, and they're very, very highly qualified and, and, and now very successful geologists too. So, you know, it's from a point of view of um, excitement for the company, the, uh, the discovery of the silver and the gold deposits is, is fantastic, um, but the exploration potential in that property is, is enormous and we've got great expectations of being able to have more discoveries in the near future. The interest that we're getting out of um, in potential investors and potential financiers is very strong at the moment. We've been getting a lot of um, expressions of interest from private equity and also funds, investment funds who are keen to support us not only through the exploration and feasibility stage but also to fund us for the construction and um, development and, and, and in time operation of this, uh, these silver and gold mines. So the, um, the opportunity to meet in, in Hong Kong with, with people that are potential partners, funding partners, and also those who might be interested in just investing in the company as well.